unit nine. Now this is where we use all of the things we talked about before. Recognize these, these that we've just went through. Now these would be in the story, so see if you can spot them. It's about a bridge. The new brown brick bridge. The opening. Now notice the month and the day. It was the 12th of December. Now the word 12, we have done it in unit 8, but not with TH. So this would be 12. So make sure you're reading it that way. Going back. It was the 12th of December. The 12th month of the year. What a coincidence. It was the birthday of the twin prince and princess, meaning they were born on the exact same day. Now to celebrate the birthday, what did they do? As a birthday present for them, a new brown brick bridge opened on that day. That would be this bridge and we can see that it's a celebration because of all the balloons, confetti and cake. So what the other people do? Let's see. People in town celebrated for 24 hours. Now, one day only has 24 hours, so they used the whole day to celebrate. Many did not sleep. Slowly slid the cars up to the roadblocks. They were blue and black. Blue and black. And people are really excited to have presents ready for the prince and princesses. Drivers dropped ladies with nice dresses and gentlemen with neat trousers. Look at them. Nice dresses, lovely trousers. I actually quite like their shoes as well. Others came by train and tram. Now, do you know which one's which? Is this a train? Nope. This is, in fact, a tram. And this is a train. Ooh. I see music. Some people played trumpets and trombones. Playing some lovely music. Personally, I prefer a trumpet, but go have a listen to both and comment down below which one's your favorite. Now I see the sign seafood. I wonder what happened next. Trucks brought trays of trouts. Okay. What's next? In the morning, there was a free brunch. Now, brunch usually is where you, you have food between breakfast and lunch, hence brunch. And I see some kind of birds having it, so let's see what happened next. People took bread and broth and crepes with cream. This looks absolutely delicious. Crowds of crows and cranes came to eat the crumbs. Oh, so bread and crepes made crumbs, and so different kind of birds, such as cranes and crows, came to join the party as well. Very lovely. In the evening, there were prunes and prawn salad, free fresh fruits, plums on plates. Now let's see. Do you know what this is? This is plums on plates. Now, do you remember in which unit we talked about these words? This is obviously a fresh fruits, some prawns, meaning prawn salad, and prunes. Children played with plastic planes on green grass. Some of them were eating green grapes. Well, luckily they didn't confuse the grass with the grapes because they actually are very similar in color. So thankfully they were eating grapes and not grass. Now let's look at the time. One is pointing to 12 and one is pointing slightly over two. Do you know what time it is? We'll find out. Twice a day at 12 past 12 at noon and at 12 past 12 at night. There were different shows between the twin towners. 12 dwarves played music. Dwellers on different floors watched them from their flats. I mean, who wouldn't? If I had a show, I would watch it all the time for free as well. Many held flowers and flag at the windows. Many flags were flying, presumably because they were throwing some flags and showing their support. 
The sky was clear and there were no clouds. On each side of the bridge, a cloud climbed up to the tower clock. This is the tower clock and that is the cloud. I would be very, very scared. They put on gloves and glasses, gloves and glasses, and glided down from the towers. Look. People clapped their hands. Everybody was glad. People holding flowers and clapping, and they all looked very happy. That is the end of the story. We went over, we used all the words from previous units. And that wasn't so difficult, was it? Good job, everyone.